Hey guys, how's it going? This is Delphal Lockpicker here, and the video I have for you today is going over how you can decode the first number to your dial combination lock in just a few seconds. This technique does not take any special tools, and it is something that most people can learn very easily. What I'm going to do is share this technique with you right now. All right, so let's get started. So today we're gonna to focus on how to find the first digit to our combination lock, and this is gonna be something that is much easier than you might think. So in order to accomplish this, what we're gonna do is mechanically manipulate the lock. So what we're gonna to need to do is turn the dial over clockwise several times to completely reset the lock. In order to mechanically manipulate this lock, what we're gonna to need to do is pull tension on the shackle. We're not gonna do so much that the dial completely seizes up, and we're not going to do so little that we're not going to get any feedback. Finding the correct amount of tension is something that comes with experience, but I describe it as a moderate amount of tension. What you're going to need to do is close your eyes and turn the dial clockwise until you find a number that the lock will stop on. This number is going to be called the sticky number, and this is going to be a very important number that we're going to use in order to decode the first digit to our dial combination lock. So let's get started right now. So we're going to just reset our dial one more time, and then we're going to apply our moderate amount of tension, and we're going to close our eyes, and we're just going to keep turning until the lock stops on a number. The number that we have just stopped on was the number three. We're going to want to repeat this several times to ensure that we are being very consistent because this is a very important number to decode. So we're going to now just pull moderate tension on the shackle, close our eyes, and we're going to see if we can land on the number three one more time. I like to close my eyes because it makes it so that you do not have a visual bias on the number you want to land on. So as you can see, we landed on three one more time. We're going to pull our moderate tension, close our eyes, and we're going to try to land on three one more time. And we've landed on three a third time. So now that we have landed on three, three times in a row, this is going to be a strong indication that the number three is going to be our sticky number. One other thing you can feel is when you go to go past three, you can almost feel that the dial is going past a little hump, and that is a, another great indication that you're on the correct number. So now that we have three as our sticky number, in order to get the first digit to our dial combination lock, we're going to need to take our sticky number and add five to it. Your sticky number is most likely going to be not the number three, so you're going to need to take your sticky number and simply just add five to it. So on this lock, three plus five is going to be eight, and eight is going to be the first digit to our combination lock. And that is all that it takes to do this. This is something that takes just a few minutes to learn, and it is something that is very fun to do. A few considerations is, is if your sticky number is on the number 36, 37, 38, or 39, when you add five to it, you need to realize that you're going to need to make the number zero to five. So for example, 36 plus five is not going to be 41, it is going to be the number one. So you're gonna do 36, 37, 38, 39, zero, and one. You're going to need to be very cognizant of that when you are decoding this. So what I'd like to do right now is show you how this lock opens up. So the actual combination to this lock is going to be 8, 18, 0. So as you can tell, 8 is going to be 5 more than 3, so that is correct. And then we're going to go over to 18, so we have to go past 0 once, and then we're going to go over to 18, and then we're going to go directly to 0, and we're going to see that the lock opens right up. If you would like to have a greater understanding of how to find all three digits to this dial combination lock, what I'm going to do is put a link up on the top here, which is going to be my video 198, which goes over how to fully decode a dial combination lock. And also, if you feel like you need more experience or a greater explanation on how to open up one of these locks when you do have the combination, I'm going to link up my video number 197, which goes over how to open up a dial combination lock when you have the combination. But either way, guys, this has just been a very fun video on how to find the first digit to your dial combination lock. This is something anyone can learn in just a few minutes, and this can be a very powerful tool to help you out. If you have any questions or suggestions, 
please leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope you all have a great day. And just thank you so much for checking this out.